<laughs> okay, so there was this one time when I was like 17, 18. I'm thinking I was around 18. I had gotten a car finally. I had my license since I was 16, but I never got a car for a couple years until I finally got my first real job working at the this book factory. And it was a real fucking legit job. I'd love to get the job back, but I digress. I was able to get a car. This was in the first month or two of me having the car. And I used to drive like a jackass. Even one of my best and closest friends, after driving, after being a passenger in my car for a month or two, he was like, he commented on it, was like, based on your personality, you are an entirely different kind of driver than I would have expected you to be. <laughs> and nowadays I am a much more responsible and cautious driver. But back in the day, I was fucking reckless as hell. <laughs> like, scarily reckless to where I look back and I'm like, Jesus, what was I thinking? But this one time, me and my really good friend Nico, he's like, a, I consider him a brother. He's like my older brother. And this girl, Shannon, who I had the house for at the time. And I feel like there was other people besides them. I can't remember, though. It may have just been the two of them and me. We were going on a road trip to White Castle because I had a fucking car and we had money. So we pooled money together and we're like, let's go to White Castle. Road trip. And so we go to the White Castle a few towns over. It's like a half hour drive. We're like five minutes away and we're sitting at a light. And I come up to the light next to this truck. And the car that I had was a Caprice and it was a cotton model Caprice with the fucking interceptor engine in it. So it could accelerate pretty quick. And that <laughs> being my first car, having that as my first car, that kind of went to my head. And I would fucking just smoke people at traffic lights all the time and so sitting at the light I fucking threw it in neutral and revved my engine a couple of times the dude in this big ass truck revved his engine back and so I'm like oh it's on <laughs> fucking sitting there waiting for the light to turn green it turned green we fucking floored it and he smoked me <laughs> and I wasn't about to give up I caught up to him and he like went to go and he got into my lane so I got into the other lane and I caught back up to him. And so he's in the left lane, I'm in the right lane. I catch up to him, I'm starting to get ahead of him. I've got my friend Nico in the fucking driver's, the front passenger seat yelling at me to slow down. Shannon in the back seat yelling at me to slow down. And I'm trying to speed up and get in front of him, keep an eye out for cops and watch my speed and keep an eye on the road. And I'm like, fuck it, I'm going for it. And I go to cut him off and I wasn't far enough in front of him, and we collided, like, chariot style. <laughs> he, like, denied me entrance to the lane he was in, and we, like, kind of rubbed it out for a little while, and then separated, and then I slowed down. He sped up, I got into his lane, and then he went through this light, and I turned off at the light, pulled into a parking lot to check out the damage, and he left this huge fucking tire burn on my back left door. It was bad. This being my first car, I wasn't going to tell my parents that I had challenged someone to a race and shit. I ended up telling them that I went out to visit a friend in the town that the White Castle was at, and on the way back, there was a drunk driver in front of me, and I noticed him swerving around, and so I went to try and pass him, just to, you know, speed up, get past him, and get away from him in case he did, like, get in a wreck in front of me. And when I went to pass him, I got swerved into. That's what I told her. And she bought it. She bought it just because she figured she wasn't going to get the truth out of me. And I remember a few years ago, me and my older sister and my mom and a few of my older sister's friends were all hanging around after going to the bar for karaoke after we're all, like... You know, I'm, I, was at, I was 21, so we're all older, and we're all just sitting around after being at the bar, hanging out, and having fun telling stories. And we were, I remember my older sister talking about something to do with driving, taking the, my mom's old car out, 
when I was like 12 when we lived in that subdivision of the townhomes. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, speaking of funny driving stories, you remember that tire burn on the Caprice? And my mom's like, oh, am I going to finally hear the story of what actually happened here? <laughs> it's pretty funny. So finally told her the truth about that. We had a great laugh. That's the story about the time I challenged someone to a race and paid for my hubris. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>